by year. Let's go to our story in unit 6. Okay, here we have our story cover. Include the story title here on the top of the story cover. Let's read it together. Where is Felix hiding? This is the question. Okay, so our story title this time will be a question. Okay, let's go down, down, down. We're gonna find here a name. Whom this name? This name for the author. The author means the person who wrote this story. Okay, what the author's name? Nancy E. Walker. Okay, and also here we should to find here the characters. Our character this time in this story will be animals. Okay, the names of these animals Felix, Max, and Harriet. Okay, and look for the setting of the story. We're gonna guess here we have a house in a garden. So the setting for sure the house and the garden. Okay, let's go to our story vocabulary. Start here, the first one. Okay, look at this picture. House, right? Very good. So, the house, the place, where can we live, right? Okay, let's go here for the part of this page. Here, house. House, it's a noun. Okay, let's put this word in a sentence. This is my house. This is my house. Okay, let's go to this word. Okay. Here, if I see a person is standing there, so I say someone, someone, there, this is a noun. Let's put someone in a sentence. I see someone there. Okay. Here, look at this picture. This girl is very happy because her, her friends gave her a gift. So... She should say thanks and she should thanks her friend for this gift. So, thanks here is the verb. Let's put thanks in a sentence. Thanks a lot for this gift. Okay, look here. Look at this rabbit. Here, this rabbit is stretching now or open his arms so we're gonna see for this action stretch stretch so this is an action verb let's put stretch it in a sentence he stretched his arms okay look here this boy looks like very tired and he is doing an action when he is sleeping what the name of this action snoring snoring this is an action verb Okay, he looks very tired. He is snoring like this boy in our picture. Okay, let's go to the next one. Here. Okay, where are these animals? Is They are standing where? Okay, they are standing behind the tree. So this is preposition behind. Behind. Okay, all the animals are behind the tree. Okay, let's start our reading time here. Okay, let's start. One second. Yeah, okay. Here, as we mentioned before, our characters are animals. Max, Felix, and Harriet. Okay. Max and Felix were playing at Harriet's house. So our our setting here, Harriet's house. Harriet's house. Here we put apostrophe s because this house belongs to Harriet. Okay? 
Let's play hide and seek, suggested Harriet. Harriet suggested to play hide and seek. He liked this game. Okay. Yes, let's, said Max. Max accept. Felix yawned. He is so sleepy and he is doing an action. We're going to say for this action, yawned. Like, oh, I'm very sleepy and I'm very tired. I'm too tired. Please, said Harriet, albeit all you have to do is hide. It's very simple and very easy game. All right, said Felix. Okay. Harriet counted to ten. Soon, she found Max behind the blueberry bush, push like a small tree. But she couldn't find Felix anywhere. Felix disappeared. We can't find him. Max helped her look. Where could he be? Wondered Harriet. Wondered. He is very surprised. He couldn't find him. Okay. He's not usually this good at hiding, said Max. Okay. Did you hear that? They are hearing now a voice or a sound. Ask it, Harriet. It sounds like someone is snoring. This is an action when someone is very tired. Okay, snoring, said Max. Harriet saw something sticking out from under the blanket. Something now here sticking out like coming out under the blanket. Okay, look, she said. Ears, yeah, they saw ears, said Max. Felix's ears, yeah, this is the ears of Felix, said Harriet. Okay. Felix sat up and stretched, like this action. When he do this action, we're gonna say stretched his arm, his arms. Wow, Felix, said Harriet, you did a great job of hiding. Wow, he's super! Thanks, said Felix. Okay, hope you enjoy this story and see you next time.